Noon, police searching for the person who shot and killed a man in San Francisco, then managed to escape from officers. Good afternoon. I'm Emily Turner. In today for Michelle Griego. I'm Kenny Choi. That shooting happened in the Mission. KPX 5 Jackie Ward is there with how police are trying to track down the shooter now. SFPD investigators are going around to the local businesses in this area asking if they've seen anything suspicious. Bullets left giant holes and shattered some of the windows here last night. JJ jeweler owner at Gardo Campos has owned this store for 30 years. I'm not be surprised because this happened like every month, kind of often. He says almost 10 years ago to the day he was shot himself right in the face. This morning he shows us the bullet holes that pierced his store. You can see the, the hole in the outside of me in my shop. You see the, see the scratch right there in the boxes? That's the one that went through. You see in the wall, you see the hole right there. You can see him. Last night around midnight, police say a man was shot on the sidewalk right in front of JJ Jeweler on 24th Street between Cap Street and South Van Ness. Police were alerted to the shooting through the city's shot spotter program. The automatic alerts by shot spotter is a, a great assistance to us. It does save time and it uh, keeps us from having to deal with any eyewitnesses that may have had a different view. Once officers got here, they saw a car leaving the scene that they believed was possibly related to the shooting. They pursued it, but they lost track of it. Vehicle description and its identity as well as its occupants is part of the investigation. One man was found on the 3200 block of 24th Street suffering from gunshot wounds. Medics were called in, but the man died on the scene. The medical examiner's office is still working to identify the victim. In San Francisco, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5. And police are asking the public to let them know if they have any information about what happened last night.